I'm back. This is Chandler from Mother Production, and today I want to go over a plugin that not too many people use, or maybe you may not be familiar about, and that's uh, M Noise Generator. What this does is it just generates noise, and you might be thinking like, why would I want that? But I'm going to actually show you some cool things you can do with it, and maybe in subsequent videos I'll show you like more practical uses. So let's get into it. I'm just going to add it here. When you add it, it's going to add noise, so be careful. I'm warning you now, it's going to be a terrible noise coming out. So we have it here in noise generator. Okay. So as you saw there, you just turn it on and just noise comes out. There's a lots of different types of noise in here. We have white noise, pink noise, clicks and pops, and stairs. I'm going to turn this back on and I'll let you listen to the differences. Now, white noise you're probably familiar with. Pink noise, I think you might know. This one actually sounds a little bit more pleasant and blends in a little bit more because it actually rolls off some of the top end. And we have clicks and pops here. And you see the probability comes up when you have clicks and pops or stairs here. I'm going to turn it back on and I'm going to adjust the probability so you can hear what happens. So as you heard there, increasing the probability makes it almost sound like not white noise when you have it at 100%, but lower just sounds like small clicks and pops, so it might sound like you have a, uh, a frying pan with some oil on it or something like that. And now let's do the same thing with stairs. This is the same, except it sounds a little bit more bassy. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. I'm not sure if... It sounds almost like this is pink noise using the same thing in uh, Clicks and Pops as white noise, but I don't know that for sure. I'm just my speculation. Under this, we have an equalizer here, so you can shape this in many different ways. So one cool thing is you can take this, like let's say the stairs, and we can add a low-pass filter, and it'll sound almost like uh, rain coming through a wall or something. So let's bring this down. Put in a low pass filter here. Let's try six decibels per octave at first here and move it up. And let's turn this on and do that. To me, that's a cool effect. And you can try with the other ones as well. As you can see in here, we have a number of different types of filters, if you know that's what you want. You can also make this bigger in case this is too small here. Now, this is all good, but you're probably wondering, like, mm, there's some other things you can do with it, right? And there are. So I have it these like white and pink noise, but actually there's other types of noise. If you look on Wikipedia, you'll see an article about different types of uh, colored noises and uh, here, I actually put some in here myself by using the equalizer, so I'll let you hear some of them. So, let's see, I have colored noise here. Let's try this brown noise at first, which is a little bit low in volume. This is basically filtered white noise where it's uh, very bassy. So, I'll probably have to turn this up, but listen carefully. So you can hear that can be nice in the background uh, for something if you need a little bit of uh, you know, ambience in the background of whatever you're doing. Let's look at green noise. Green noise is just pink noise, but the only difference is it has more mid-range here. So let's listen to it. I'm not even really sure if green noise is a thing, and maybe somebody something somebody made up. But it does sound good, and it almost sounds natural. Uh, something else. Let's go in here. The gray noise. This is just mid scooped. I'll have to turn this up as well here, but I'll let you hear it.
So this one, as you hear, it has some bass and it has some high end. So even if I turn it up, it kind of clips a little bit because that bass is really you know, taking away some of the energy. But uh, you can use that as well. Next one, I have blue noise. I think I heard someone say this is like the sound of like a water spray or something. And uh, when you have like water spraying someplace, it makes this kind of noise. So there you go. But this is just a uh, high pass filtered white noise or something close to it. And last one's purple noise, even more filtered. So as you can hear, purple is just kind of like a variation on blue. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the different types of noises. Now, just as this is, you're probably like, yeah, well, this is kind of an okay plug and it can make all those noises, but what if I want to do something with it? This is more of an effect, but you can actually control this with MIDI. So if you wanted to use this for, let's say, uh, a riser or something, we can actually do that. So let's go in here. We have default. And let's control this plugin, the white noise, with our MIDI controller. So we're going to go into the, not a toolbar, but the utilities here. This is a free plugin. However, keep in mind, you have to pay to unlock the free ones to use these extra functions. So you can use these functions here, no problem with the free version. You don't have to pay anything. But if you pay extra, you'll be able to use the mods and uh, I believe the multi-parameters here. And you'll also be able to save presets, which is good. I'll try to put these colored noise uh, on the online exchange so you can download these easily. But uh, here we go. Anyways, back to what I was saying before. We want to control this by MIDI. So the first thing we do is here, we're going to use MIDI controller in. Make sure it's activated. Now, what we want to control is the wet here. I'm going to click clear and learn. Just move this. Stop. We're going to go inside here. We see the wet. Max, uh, 6.2, good, or maybe a, maybe a little bit less. Let's try negative 10 there. Put this at zero. And let's change it to a, we can change it to a switch here. So it's on and off. Bypass off. There we go. So we have that now, but you probably don't want to just click on it with your mouse. Let's say we want to use MIDI to control it. So we're going to go in here, click MIDI Learn. This first one, we're not going to use the controllers, so we're just going to erase that. Don't need this, turn it off. Main controllers, we don't need that. We're going to go into Notes, enable this. We can click MIDI Learn here. Turn it off. And that's going to be our parameter one. Make sure that's on. Now I want to change this to on, off, all octaves. So that way, if I choose a note like C, on, off, C here, any C note I hit will turn this on and off. So it should be working now like this. If I hit my keyboard key, so as long as I keep the note held down, it will stay on. As soon as I release the key, it turns off. If you don't like that, you just want it to stay on, you can do on, off, say it's a switch here like this. Switch all octaves. I hit the C, it turns on. I hit C again, it turns off. So if you want to control it that way, you can use the switch. If you want to hold it down to keep the noise coming, hit uh, on, off, all octaves. So there you go. That's an easy way to get that going. And of course, if you think like, oh, this is good. I want to continue doing this. We can save this as something in here. Let's say um, MIDI controlled noise. Now this will be saved. So that way next time you don't have to do it again. So let's say if I went into my preset for uh, green noise, turn this off, go in here, MIDI controlled noise. You see everything set up here. I believe the MIDI will still be set up as well. Uh, no, it's not. So I have to reset that ourselves every time. But luckily, this is fast. 
Or I could go in here and make MIDI controlled noise again if I wanted to do that. And just go into here on off all octaves, parameter one. And ooh, make sure I turn the learn off. Don't want to do that. Learn off, parameter one. And once I have that, I can do the same thing here. MIDI noise control. That way, next time, I don't have to set this up again. I just open up these two presets and it works. The last thing I'll show you today is how you can use the mod to create a riser or something like it. Turn that off. Now, we have our mod here and we want this to control our wet dry. So we'll do clear and learn. Okay, now we should have this controlled and you see we have this here, which is an LFO, and we can control our max. Let's set that to 10. If we turn it on now, like this, it's just gonna follow the LFO. If we want it to be triggered by MIDI and just go all the way up, we can use an envelope like this. I set this to MIDI, set this attack to whatever I want it to, like here, let's say one beat. 66. There we go. And as soon as I hit something, it should go up. Oh, cool. as long as I have it enabled. <laughs> Make sure you do that. There you go. One problem with this, though, is if I use this envelope, what's going to happen is if I try to do like four bars, you see how, how high this is in number value? I click OK, it maxes it out. It won't go that far. So you're like, ah, I can't do you know, like two or three bar or eight bar buildups with this. What you can do is just go into the LFO and we're going to use this. Make sure you turn that off because that's going to be annoying. Next, we want to reverse it so it doesn't go down this way. You could if you wanted to use a like a was it a downer? I don't know, reverse riser. But in this case, we want it to go up. So we'll click invert. Okay. We have our rate here, and we can have it start here with this rate, but I think we want to sync it to the tempo. So I'll click sync. Make sure the phase isn't at 90, 90 degrees, because that means it's going to start around here. I want it to start at zero. And we can choose our length here. So now we can choose something like four bars or two bars, etc. And it will sync everything up for us. So let's say. Let's say two bars. Uh, I could do longer, but it's going to take forever in this video. So now we want to use MIDI triggering. So click enable here. Make sure I expand it. And I want to do single shot. So that way when I push the button, it goes there and then it just stops. You can take this off and it'll just repeat over and over again. But in this case, I just want to go once. So here we go. Press a button. Oh, actually, turn it on. Press a button. There you go. If you wanted to, you could do more bars here, like 16 or 8, but as you as you can see, you don't want to I don't want to waste video time showing you all that, but that's how you do it. You can experiment with some of the other things too. There's some interesting things that can be done. Also, you have different things. You have triplets, uh, dotted notes, etc. inside here. And if you do want to start here or maybe here, you can change the phase as well. So, that's it for today for this in noise generator, but in the future, I'll show you something else you can do with this. It's actually uh, very interesting uh, and useful. But if you have any questions, leave those down below. Uh, if you have any comments, make sure you leave those as well. Give me a thumbs up and check out all the other plugins at melterproduction.com. Till next time, see you.